Hey guys, Michelle from Michelle's Craft Corner here, and I've got a fun stargazing themed card using the stargazing stamp set. And this is just a really cool galaxy look made with some heat embossing and sponging of different colors. And I absolutely love how it turned out. So I'm really excited to share this with you. And there's a lot of variations you guys could do with this, but I actually recently made these for my team uh, for a uh, Christmas uh, thank yous because we have a star theme going on and I just I loved it so much I figured I'd go ahead and do a video and show you guys how I did this so to make this of course we're going to be using the stargazing stamp set which is a really nice stamp set from the annual catalog a piece of whisper white cardstock and this is cut at uh, three and three fourths by five so uh, I'll write that on here real quick so you guys can see that Pencil that doesn't work. Here we go. Okay, should have done that before. Uh, a piece of blueberry bushel uh, card base, which is just a really pretty in color that we have currently. And then I used quite a few inks. We're going to use some Versamark today, the, of course, blueberry bushel to coordinate. Um, I also used some Pacific Point. Um, you don't have to use Pacific Point, but I kind of liked the light and dark. Um, and I also used, scoot this over here, okay, the uh, Rich Razzleberry, the Gorgeous Grape, and the Melon Mambo. And that gives us just kind of all of those fun, contrasting colors. All right, we're going to be doing some heat embossing, so I'm actually going to be using white Stampin' Emboss powder. Now, if you don't have white, you can actually do uh, clear, and I'll explain how you do that in a minute. So you can use either for this technique, and then, of course, my heat tool. And that's really all we're using today. All right, so let's get started. Oh, and sponges. Did I fail to mention sponges? Yes. <laughs> sponges for sponging. So, you know how I mentioned you can use either white or clear? Oh, my clear's over there. Anyway, um, so for these, originally I did clear. So what I did is I heat embossed it first and then sponged over. But I don't think that's going to show up well on the camera. So we're actually going to sponge first and then do the white over. Because uh, I think it'll show up better on the camera. But you can really go either way with it um, for the same effect. All right, so for my sponging, I like to go light to dark. So we're gonna start with our Melon Mambo and build out from there. Okay, my sponge. All right, so for the sponging, I kind of like to build on my layers. Now you can do this any number of ways and I'm gonna speed up the camera. Um, but I kind of liked having just kind of some light areas and, and dark areas. So that's kind of similarly what I'm about to do. Here we go. Okay, so now our sponging is done. Uh, this is just one uh, way to do it. I mean, depending on how dark you are with certain colors and, and different sp sponging areas, yours might look totally different, but you get the idea. Um, I always like to also 
um, smoosh the edges kind of to coordinate with the paper. I think it makes it look pop a little more. And if you don't want to do the Pacific Point, you could just do just the blueberry bushel um, instead to coordinate with that paper. All right, so now we're going to do our heat embossing. And I always like to put my heat embossing in just like a little container because uh, I do a lot of it anyway. And it's a little easier than sticking it back in a little container. So I'm going to use that. And for stamping our words, we're going to use the Versamark. Where did I just put that? That is right here in front of me. It could bit me. All right, <laughs> you're going to use the Versamark uh, to get that stickiness for the powder to stick to. So we're going to start with, and I don't know how well this is going to show up in the camera, but we're going to just start with our words and add. Now, depending on how many stars you want to add on yours, yours could be kind of light on the stars or heavy, kind of a personal preference, but I think they all look really good. Um, you can also use the embossing buddy before, um, but for this, because uh, we are going lots of little stars, I actually don't mind if I get a little extra cling. So I'm actually not going to be using this, but that's totally up to you guys. All right, here we go. We are all done. Now, um, I know I did say I don't normally use the embossing buddy, but for some reason the clear, it didn't stick so bad. So I probably should have uh, for this one, but I don't think it looks too bad with a little extra uh, bit sticking in. But that's why I grabbed the brush was to kind of sweep some of it away a little bit because it was not coming off like my clear did. Um, the other thing is if you do um, emboss with the clear instead of the white and emboss first and then sponge, you are going to want to wipe that ink off the top of the clear so your white cardstock pops through. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, any questions, throw them in the comments. All right, so now we're just going to add this to our card base. This is just a standard card base and it's just going to go right there on top so we have that nice little border of blueberry bushel. And yet again, I grabbed the ink that is empty. All right, but <laughs> anyway, you guys can see you just uh, glue that straight on top. So pretty quick and easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for all the products featured in this video. Check out the video description below uh, to purchase those at my Stampin' Up! store. Thanks, guys!